Here's the simple ingredients that I'm going to use for the ribs. I'm going to pour the bottle of beer into the pot, and I'm going to use a fourth of a cup of vinegar. And then for the rub, I'm going to use a teaspoon of salt, pepper, teaspoon, and then I'm going to use probably about a fourth of a cup of the dark brown sugar, just to rub, just enough to rub all over the ribs. And then I'm going to drizzle it with honey, probably uh, less than a fourth of a cup of honey. Just drizzle on top, and then I'm going to pressure cook. I'm taking the brown sugar. I just put it on a plate, and I'm going to put my salt and pepper and mix it together first. There's a teaspoon of salt, and then I'm going to crack about a teaspoon of pepper as well. Now I'm going to add my pepper right to that, and then I'm just going to give it a little stir, and then this is what I'm just going to coat the ribs with. Right here. Now into the pot, I'm going to put the beer, and I'm drizzling it over it, and I'm going to add the vinegar. And I want these to soak in here. Just I want it to coat it with the beer and vinegar mixture. And then I'm going to pressure cook with the, this mixture at the bottom. But I want this to just be nice and coated on top. And then it'll give some liquid for my barbecue, um, for, the, for the brown sugar to stick to as well. So I just want to make sure that gets all in there. And for the beer, it doesn't matter what brand you're using. So I'm just getting it nice and coated. And that way, this is gonna steam through as it pressurizes this flavor right here. Now I'm gonna transfer it to my the crisper basket and I'm gonna put it face up So that I can smear the barbecue. Actually, I may do that right now. I'm just going to put some on top and rub it in. I'm not going to worry about the bottom. I just want to make sure the sides are done real good. So I'm just spooning up my mixture, getting it all in there good, like so. And I may have to have one of them one or two standing up. I overlap them a little bit. I'm gonna put this one. I kind of have them resting on each other. There. small one left right down here. Yeah, get that. Just put it up here while I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm going to have it partially standing standing. Let's see if I can get this guy to do it on the side. Okay, good. Oh, he slipped a little. Now any of the remaining brown sugar I'm just going to sprinkle over the top. <clears throat> like so. That way this is going to flavor it as it cooks. Just gonna pop it down. Um, I have my honey, so I'm just gonna drizzle that real quick. Just on the top here. Just so it's coated. 
Now I'm just going to wipe this basket. I don't want any of this crummy stuff and liquid right here. Now I'm just going to place this into the Ninja Foodie. And I'm going to put my pressure cooking top on. Now I'm going to make sure, look I just cleaned the rim so this rubber seal so I'm tucking that in real good. And I've already checked both of these to make sure they're clear um, and there's no debris or anything that's stuck in there. Make sure it's sealed completely. I'm going to place the lid on and lock it. And then I'm going to turn the vent to seal. And then I'm going to set the pressure. I'm going to turn on the Ninja Foodie. And I'm going to hit pressure cook. It's high. And I'm going to go time. And I'm going to 19 minutes. And I'm hitting start. And then you always want to double check that it's on the seal over here. This can get moved if you turn it to seal before you turn it, before you shut the lid. Uh, it's really fragile there. But that's it. I'm going to leave it for 19 minutes and then I'll baste the top and air crisp them. This is the sauce that I'm using and it's like a honey mustard sauce. But like I said, use your favorite one. This is after 10 minutes. You can just open it up. And you can see how they are nice and crispy. So I'm going to turn them a little bit, baste them a little bit more because I like mine real crispy. Um, if I've missed any down at the bottom, and then they'll be done. So I'm going to baste them a little bit more and make sure I didn't miss any areas. And that's what they look like in the pot. And here they are done on the plate. And... I just want to show you how it can fall off the bone here. Oh, it just comes off. Here's another one plated. You can see they're still sizzling.